Hey guys, Kai here. Today is going to be slightly of a different video. I've been trying out the iPad Pro for the past few weeks and I've been dabbling a little bit into LumaFusion. So, just heads up, I was a film student, so my background is primarily Premiere Pro and since last year, DaVinci Resolve. So like many others out there, I was a little bit skeptical about doing video editing on the iPad. But now that I've used it, I was pleasantly surprised. And I think that LumaFusion might just be a great way to start to get into video editing. So I'm going to share with you some advice and a few basic tips to help you get started. First, here are some of the things that you need and some things that you might want to have. Of course, the first thing that you definitely need is the iPad itself, pro or not. And actually, that's all you really need for hardware. However, I do suggest getting the Apple Pencil and the Keyboard Folio for a much better experience. Another thing that you might want to add is a USB-C hub like this hyperdrive right here. This will give you access to things like HDMI output, a 3.5mm jack and an SD card reader. As for software-wise, just two things. You need, of course, LumaFusion and an app called Documents. So that's it. Technically, you just need a minimum of three things. Your iPad, LumaFusion, and Documents. So the first thing you want to do is to offload the footage that you shot into the iPad Pro. With iPadOS, this process is not much easier. Simply open up files, and you're able to see everything in your iPad similar to your Mac or PC. For me, I have a portable SSD, and if you plug it into your iPad, you'll be able to access the content right there and then. Once you have chosen the footages that you want, copy them and navigate to On My iPad. LumaFusion, User Media. Here, just create a folder, name it however you want and transfer the footage over. Now I've already transferred my footage here, so I don't have to do it again. Using files, you'll also be able to easily access iCloud, Google Drive, or NAS if you have one and you can do it that way. So now you're ready to start, so you can fire up LumaFusion. The first thing you want to do is to create a new project. Name it as you like and select the frame rate of the footage that you shot on or intend to edit on. I'm here in Singapore, so I'm choosing 25 frames per second since we use PAL. As for the aspect ratio, this is entirely up to you. Most videos are shot in 16x9 and that is the most standard. But for me, I prefer a more cinematic aspect ratio, so I'm going with 239 by 1. So now that you have your project set up, click on the icon in the top left corner and you'll bring up sources. As you can see, there are various places you can import your footage from, but since you are running iPadOS, you just need to select Imported and you'll immediately see the folder with all your footage we've you created earlier. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to explain all the shortcut keys, especially for those of you out there who don't have the keyboard. But for those of you who have the keyboard, simply holding onto the command key will bring out a full list of shortcut keys for you to use. However, you need not worry, for LumaFusion is perfectly usable even without a keyboard. So now you can start to edit. Tapping once on a clip in your project window will bring it into the program window and you can then preview it. If you want to bring it down into your timeline, simply drag and drop. Now, if you just want a specific part of that clip, you can drag the yellow brackets at the side to the point you want. These two are basically the in and out points. And once you've done so, dragging the clip down will only bring the portion which you have set. So you can now simply try putting a few clips together. When you have a slew of clips, you can then use the pinch method to zoom in and out of the timeline. And of course, you can simply swipe across the timeline to scrub through your edit. Okay, so now I have quite a few clips lined up but I want to edit a specific clip further. Tap on the clip, and then select the pen slash marker icon down below. This will bring up the clip editor for the specific clip that you selected. Here you will be greeted with four tabs, first of which is frame and fit. You can adjust the clip to your liking by playing with it like you would on the plain canvas, or for more precise controls, you can use the sliders on the left. The second tab is speed and reverse. Now most of the clips that are shot were on 100 frames per second and this tab will then allow you to speed up and slow down your footage as you would like. The maximum speed is 6 times and the slowest is 1 over 240. The third tab is audio, which is basically where you can edit the parameters of the audio of the selected clip or you can add effects such as delay or distortion. The last tab is color and effects. LumaFusion already has a preset pack of several effects and LUTs but if you want to import your own LUT, you're also able to do so. But of course, if you're editing, especially for these kind of cinematic vlogs, you want to have music to cut along to the beat. 
Same as before, you can simply import your music via the external drive, the same process as transferring your footage into your iPad Pro. But if you want your iPad Pro to be the only editing machine and you don't want to make use of additional devices to get your music, you will have to search for music using the iPad Pro itself. If you are starting into video editing and don't have subscription to sites like Artlist or Musicbit, I would highly suggest using audio library from YouTube. The music selection are all royalty free, just remember to credit the author or artist with the included description that comes with each music. Once you have chosen a music that you like, navigate to download it. But here's the catch. If you are on Safari or Chrome on the iPad, clicking on the download link will simply open up a preview of the music file. And you can't actually download it. This is where the Documents app come into play. Copy the URL of the download link, then open up the Documents app and select Browser. Paste the URL into the search bar and now you then get the option to download it. Once you have downloaded it, navigate back to LumaFusion and back into your imported folder, you will be able to see the track that you just downloaded. However, one thing to note is that it is not always this smooth sailing. Sometimes you need to connect your Spotify account or use the SoundCloud. But if you are on a tight budget and you are just starting into video editing, I still think audio library is the way to go. Also to note is that video clips in LumaFusion have their audio embedded within the clip itself. So to remove the audio, you have to mute the audio of the track itself, which you can do by tapping on the icon right here. So that's all you pretty much need to know to start editing. Once you are satisfied, you then have to export. Tap on the export button on the bottom right corner and select movie. You can then choose to export to various directories, even straight to Google Drive or YouTube itself. So you now just need to choose the export settings that you want and export. Simple as that. So for me, I've managed to edit a short cinematic vlog in just under 3 hours on the iPad Pro using LumaFusion. And this is how that turned out. Pretty straightforward, simple cuts, music, nothing fancy. Honestly, I do think that LumaFusion has a lot of potential. And I do think that this is a great way for you to get started into video editing. Granted, there are more advanced techniques that I did not use on LumaFusion, but for now, go on, have fun, and we'll see you next time.